Welcome to the Experts in Medicine talk series. This series is brought to you by Handbooks in Healthcare, leading publisher of clinical pocket references by the world leading medical experts. Today we are joined by Michael West, leading expert in surgical infections and author of Contemporary Guide to Surgical Infections. Uh, my name is Michael West. I'm the uh, Chief of Surgery at San Francisco General Hospital and the Vice Chair in the Department of Surgery at the University of California, San Francisco. I have a long-standing interest in surgical infections, largely because even in the current age, surgical infections are the most frequent cause of morbidity and mortality. Many people are aware that in the last several years, there's been increasing scrutiny and interest, uh, indeed recognition, of the importance of surgical infections from the standpoint of the uh, Medicare guidelines. Uh, many different regulatory bodies, consumers, and others are recognizing that optimal results in, in surgery require application of evidence-based guidelines to minimize the risk for development of infectious complications after surgery. What's been missing, perhaps up until now, is the presence of a, uh, a guideline for residents in training, medical students, and even more seasoned uh, surgical practitioners to give them the information that they need in terms of treating surgical infections. Unfortunately, even the best surgeons uh, will end up having surgical infectious complications. Based on discussions that I had had with some uh, surgical residents, they ended up telling me what they thought would be most helpful to them in the way of a handbook. There are numerous handbooks uh, out there that end up giving information, dosages, etc., about uh, antibiotics and other medications, but what's missing is a way to put that into perspective in terms of treating surgical patients. One of the things that's unique about surgical infectious problems is that while antibiotics are absolutely uh, crucial in the ultimate resolution uh, of the infection, if the surgical interventions are not performed correctly or surgical interventions for the infection are not used optimally, even the best antibiotics will not work. So this is one of the places that this uh, guideline or this uh, guide ends up differing from uh, some of the other compendium of antibiotic recommendations. The guide is, is organized in three ways. The first segment of the book ends up dealing with some of the basic principles about surgical infections, what differentiates a surgical infection from a, a other types of infections, how uh, the right operation or the right surgical intervention is crucial to resolution of that, and an overall discussion about how to prevent uh, common surgical infections. The next segment of the book ends up uh, addressing individual anatomic areas. In most cases, when a surgeon is called upon to see a patient with an infection, they're going to be directed to the anatomic area of pain or based on CT findings, whatever. Uh, in this way, the residents can end up looking up the, or people using the handbook can end up looking up the uh, region that they're most concerned about and obtain information relating to the etiology, uh, diagnosis, and management of, of infections in that area. Included in those discussions of individual anatomic areas are uh, relevant references to evidence-based guidelines that make up uh, evidence-based guidelines for antibiotic uh, treatments that make up the third segment of the book. The third segment is an attempt to to collate and uh, synthesize the most recent evidence-based published guidelines from a wide variety of different uh, professional organizations. For example, we uh, are including the uh, an abstracted form of the evidence-based guidelines from the Surgical Infection Society and the Infectious Disease Society of America uh, guidelines for uh, bloodstream infections from the Center for Disease Control and guidelines for antibiotic treatment of endocarditis from the American Heart Association. In future editions of the uh, guide, these appendices would be updated as new information becomes av available. For example, the 
SIS, the Surgical Infection Society, and the IDSA are putting the finishing touches on an updated uh, evidence-based guideline for intra-abdominal infections. This guideline may be available uh, sometime in 2009. So obviously the whole field is advancing rapidly. There is a, an important need for uh, information but the information also has to be accessible. And that's actually one of the last uh, things that I'd mentioned that sets this uh, guide, uh, um, the Contemporary Guide to Surgical Infections, apart from some other more traditional uh, textbooks. Uh, much of the information uh, in, the, in the guide is based on my years of experience and discussions with other uh, experts in infectious disease. And is presented as such. It's presented in that way rather than uh, with a comprehensive bibliographic uh, references after each statement because these things actually become rather cumbersome. Where necessary, there are key references that are uh, provided, but in many cases, uh, what really is important is simply to know the information that uh, uh, a senior surgeon or expert in the field might be able to impart through a consult uh, or something like that. And obviously, when we're giving a consult, we don't end up uh, providing references for each statement as we're making them. So uh, hopefully, the Contemporary Guide to Surgical Infections will be uh, extremely useful to people as they encounter surgical uh, infections in terms of serving as a reference for a better understanding of the principles that will minimize the risk of developing infections, and then when infections do arise, to be able to make sure that they have appropriately uh, covered them and that they're using the best antibiotics for those infections. Thanks for tuning in to the Experts in Medicine talk series, brought to you by Handbooks in Healthcare. If you are interested in purchasing copies of this or any other titles by Handbooks in Healthcare, please call 800-860-9544 or email custserve at hhcbooks.com. All Handbooks in Healthcare titles retail for under $25 a copy and can be purchased in bulk quantities at substantial discounts. Handbooks in Healthcare can be found on the web at www.hhcbooks.com.